I uh, sort of gently sort of like inspect it and see if we can like take it off the mannequin. So you go to take the armor off the mannequin? Mm -hmm. Okay. As you touch the armor, Billy, all of a sudden you feel a shock of electricity hit you in the back of your head. Again, the hairs on your arms stand up and you feel as if you've been transported all of a sudden. You're following a child down a cave, a twisting and turning cave. And as you move, it gets even hotter and really humid. You have trouble breathing. The floors are flooded with water and you feel like you're pushing through some big resistance. You look as you come out of the cave and you look to the side and you see this strong young woman with dusty hair wearing this armor. She cries out and leaps towards the white hooded figure, the prophet, brandishing two blades. She screams and from behind you, a bright light shoots out and casts the prophet back into this huge open portal. All of a sudden, you're back in the room. Boom! Okay, child, uh, white light, boom, the, the portal. Okay, so this armor must have been worn by one of the heroes. You know, the heroes that helped seal the prophet away in the portal. Oh, why is this always happening to you today? This is like much more helpful. I think one of us got these visions, but you keep getting them and that's, the translation's not coming through. Because I, life is just gonna be this way for us. Okay, so you're thinking that this armor belonged to someone who 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 stood up against the prophet? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, young woman was, uh, she's facing down, facing him, facing him down. She had a, she had dual swords and she was coming out of this cave. Not sure what happened to her, but, uh, there was a flash of light. We got knocked back into the portal. I put my hand on the armor. Okay. As you put your hand on the armor, you feel the electricity shoot up the back of your neck. The, ar the hairs on your arms stand up. You again, you are coming through a twisting, curving cave and you come out into this big open space. You look like you're in some big, big temple inside of the caves. And in the distance, you can see a portal glowing, almost like a mirror just reflecting back. And from behind you, you feel this of red, red, red light shoot through. And then you see this white veiled figure move around you and grab you by the neck. And as it does, all of a sudden your body stops moving. You cannot move, only your eyes can shift back and forth. And then you hear the sound of a small child saying, help me, and you're back. See, that's not fair. Something different this time. I came through this pathway and then I got to this area where I saw this big portal and then uh, a big red light happened behind me and then the big white veiled thing that you've described so accurately came around and grabbed me by the neck and then I froze and I could only move my eyes and then I heard a child yell, help. It was really, honestly, very traumatic. That sounds so, horrible. Should I try? I don't, probably not. I don't know. It's, it, I don't know. Maybe we'll get a third thing. I mean, honestly, I, I, at this stage of my life, I don't have a whole lot to lose. <laughs> hey, look, this is why we have mandatory counseling sessions back at, back at base camp after all of this, you know? I mean, I don't think the counseling works when it's still just the three of us. Look, touch the thing. Let's see what happens. Why I'm going to touch it. And Billy, if I don't come back, my debts are paid. And I grab this Wait, no, you suit always of armor. Wait, no, you so <laughs> so uh, give us as your little hand touches down on the armor all of a sudden you feel a shot of electricity and the hairs on your arm stand up all of a sudden you are looking up at this beautiful warm figure this woman with dusty brown hair wearing this armor and she's looking down at you and she puts her hand on your on your face and says do not follow me into the caves. 
staying with your brother. I love you. I will be back. Do not follow me. And you're back. Oh, uh, I, I was encouraged not to follow this entity, but, 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 but a brother, um, I, there were uh, siblings, it seems, maybe maybe that were looking for safety following their, their mother, but but uh, who are they pursued by? And, and, and why can't we go with her? Got to be that prophet who's trying to keep her kids safe or okay. yeah. these kids safe. I remember like in the dining room, there's, there's like the one big chair and the two smaller chairs, right? Yeah. So it was, um, I'm guessing, um, you know, one, why'd you get the nice dream? And two, um, I think the, the hero that, uh, the Billy saw in, in, in their, their vision is that is the mom to these two kids. And the, or at least my vision, them in some way. Yeah, and she has to. Maybe she's. Maybe she was an adventurer. Maybe she was somebody. Maybe she had to do something. She obviously had a suit of armor. Um, went to go stop the the, the white shroudy prophet guy, and then uh, the, the daughter followed her there and saw what happened to her mom. I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. So I'm just putting. This is just basic. And came back to depict it on the wall. Yeah. Maybe she's trying to I mean now from beyond, she's trying to tell us how to defeat the entity. <laughs> oh, for the love of Pete. Um, <laughs> hello, little do little girl. Little hello. girl. Hey, Gibbs. Hello. Uh it's 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 us. We're we're only but looking for friends. Uh, a simple play date is all. Um, uh, there was there was a third door you said, right? I'm gonna go out and I'm just gonna open the third door and look in there. Okay. As you creak open this third door, you can tell this room belonged to a child. There's not much in there though. It looks like it's been completely emptied out. And here you can see those small footsteps in the dust printed all over this room. There's a small bed. Found where the footsteps are going. And there's a, there's a bed. Hold on. Kids. Kids. Bed. I look under the bed. You look under the bed? Yeah. As you look under the bed, you see this again. Kind of a shining blue light. A blue light that reminds you of the butterfly. But there's no butterfly here. Just a shining blue light. In the uh. corner. Hello. Keep shining at you. You wanna, if you're, if you happen to, as well as being a blue light, if you happen to be a little girl, you wanna come out? We're here to help I, if you need help. Did you used to live here? It keeps shining at you almost as if it wants you to touch it. And I, hello, and I start shoving myself under the bed, being far too large to like, I just start like. Uh, 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 while he's doing that, uh, Billy moves the bed. Just like moves the bed. I just, oh, and I just reach out for the blue. Yeah. Hey, come here. Give me your hand. Vimic, as you reach out, you feel all of a sudden like there's someone right in front of you. You can feel the breathing of a, a little child. And you hear the voice, please help me. My brother is trying to help me, but he doesn't know what he's doing. Please save me. Okay, okay, where where are you? Where's your brother? Oh, I want to help, but... Follow the butterflies. Follow the butterflies, okay. And I just like, (laughs) come up over the bed. And I just go, we got to follow the butterflies. The, the covered in dust. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was, I was a little. I found. Well, I didn't. The I heard the girl face, and um, she said her brother's trying to help her, but he doesn't know how, and we need to save her and to follow the butterflies. Well, then we'll need to follow the butterflies. Well, it's really weird that you're still a kid. 
It's bothering I'm me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I always <laughs> forget that I do this. Oh, just one second. One second. And I pull out the the handkerchief that I had previously used, and as I as I sort of blot down myself, you can see my my complexion returning to its uh, its age, and I and I wipe off the magical effect, and I'm standing there in front of you now, uh-huh. six feet tall and 125 pounds of no muscle. I am. Um, oh, Veto, thank you. I, that was bothering me. It was uh, weird to talk to you with a mustache. Nice. And I have to crane my neck all the time to talk to somebody. I'm sorry. I just, I, I didn't like the mustachioed child. It was a, it was well, a weird look, look, guys, illusion is my thing. So you're going <clears> to, <throat> I'm sorry. Uh, illusion is my thing. And I'm going to be doing uh, some illusion magic <laughs> for you. Your thing. I, I just, I know. I just, it, it's what I can provide to this group, which by the way, if it would be useful, we could cast some illusions of our own if you need them. <laughs> We'll let you know, Gibbs. Thank you. Um, we value your contribution to this group. Thank you, but yes. I value finding butterflies because we are on this case. And if there's any sort of blue light in any of these three rooms, we need to wrap our minds around where it's coming from and perhaps communicate with it further. I just, I, I'm, I'm way ahead of you. I just did that. Oh. Like under the, under the bed. I was a blue light. There was a girl. She told me the stuff that I told you i think the blue i think honestly i think the girl's dead dead well i would i think she's a ghost uh you know the thing we deal with a lot every goddamn time all right well where's the nearest butterfly like look we look around i'm gonna just start looking around for a butterfly yeah i'm investigating everything yeah roll perception checks do all of you Hey, oh, uh, that's good. Um, oh, natural 20. Hey, better than what I got. That's, uh, I got a total of 26. <laughs> 26? Yo! I I'm, got a I'm four. A four. Okay, so you're looking all around in Agatha's room, uh, in, uh, in the mother's room with the armor. You find a big chest in the corner, but there isn't, a butterfly, but you do hear Vimic very faintly in the distance. Someone walking down the stairs. Like the stairs we went up? I'm gonna run out to the stairs and take a look. You don't say follow. Okay, I think we need to, one, first let's check that chest in the mom's room, just, you know? Okay, so you open the chest and you find these, it's a beautiful old chest. It's been hand carved in, in wood and leather, and it has these big straps that hold it down, and you open it up, and it feels like it hasn't been opened in a long time. And inside are all of these journals, and as you start to pay, like flip through the journals, you can see that these are stories of grand adventures and then ancient maps, and one big old key. So one, we take that key with us, because, uh, yeah, sure. you always take I say we bring, I say we bring whatever we can, you know? Yeah, I just, like, open my pack, and I start putting yeah. books and maps inside of it. Uh, are are we it. sure that there's, there's not any booby traps on this? We are not. We are not. Let's take all this stuff out. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, I, I want to check to see if any of the journals look newer, uh, like just while we're kind of like tra- like picking them up, like if any of them look sort of newer or or if any of them have sort of like more the most recent date. Mm. Well, one of them is only only has half of the entries written. The other ones, they all look about the same age, you know, very old and worn and the pages look like they've been fingered through many, many times, but there is one in particular that only makes it halfway. The others are filled completely. All right. I'm taking a look through this one. Is that of anything relevant? Do you want to look at the most recent one? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you start reading about this story and it is from the point of view of someone named Lilia. And she talks about her two children Agatha and Lewis, and how there's been this dark prophet who has come to their town and is cursing everyone with lethargy. And slowly she talks about how she's been losing her 
lust for life, anything she cares about just seeping away. She just feels like her life is being drained. Her life force is being drained. So she talks about needing to stand up to this prophet, needing to fight them. All right. This journal is talking about the, it's everything, beat for beat, the legend. You know, with the, with the town slipping into lethargy until they cease to exist. And it looks like this, this adventurer who had settled in this town or lived in this town was going to fight back against the prophet. Anything about, and is there anything about like what, what she went and did or how to fight him or mm. nothing, nothing. All she, right. She talks about a couple other heroes from the town, but nothing in particular about how she did it or what her plan would be. Uh. She seems very scared though. All right. For her children. This all checks out. It was her, her, her kids. Uh, she's hoping to protect her kids. Okay. So I, I might be, I might be jumping to conclusions here, but I think, I think the white specter thing you saw in your dream was the prophet thing we're talking about. Yes, it absolutely is. Oh, good. So I'm glad I'm on the right track. Mm-hmm. And, um, and two, the mom went to fight. I just said all of these things. <laughs> I, okay. He's working Good. We're on the it, same page. Billy. All right. All right. No. Yeah. No. I use my process. And three, these were her kids. That's why we hired this guy in the first place. And four, the butterflies will take us somewhere. I am going to follow those footsteps. I'm just going <laughs> to. And like. And like Billy starts like marching down the stairs, like m- like mumbling to herself, ah, "These m- these boys are gonna be the death of me." <laughs> careful, Sorry. careful, careful! Ah. Like no regard for like the squeaking steps, just kind of stomping down. Boy, if I didn't have so much invested in this venture, I don't know what she's so mad about. I thought I made some really good points. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, honestly, I was impressed. So do you follow suit? Do you uh, leave yes. them we, we better yeah, follow no Billy. Yeah, uh, we better go. Sh- we both sh- know that they're useless on their own without our help. I know. <laughs> Absolutely. So they keep the whole thing together. As you leave the mill, you see these little footsteps <laughs> and they seem to almost disappear. Any any sort of butterflies or, or dust or... Well, the, 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 the footsteps led upstairs and then they led back out the door again if I remember correct right Mm -hmm. do you want to roll a perception check yeah Yeah. oh nope seven the steps just look like they disappeared can't see anything that's a 16 plus a seven so uh 20 something 23 20 whatever so Vimic you squat down and you look at these footsteps that look like they just disappeared and they get very, very faint. And then as you look a little further down towards the river, you see these tiny little footsteps next to these big, large, almost inhuman footsteps. And they lead oh. back down towards the bridge. Okay. Um, footsteps go back towards the town. Uh, so I think whatever we're looking for is going to be in town. Which really, I guess we could have skipped this whole step and just gone to the town. We would have been less informed, but so I'm kind of glad we made the excursion off to the, the right there, but ultimately we're heading towards the town. Again. Information is power. We needed the information we've gathered, and there's half of an unused journal, which I plan to write in. Um, uh, you have like 10 unused journals every time we come to a new town. You have to go to the local merchant and you get a new one and you're like, oh, this one's going to be great for spells. Or, ah, oh, this one, I'm going to finally get that nonfiction, that non, non, nonfiction started. And and uh, every time you, you're just like, oh, no, this one's too nice to write in. Billy, they're all too nice to write in, which is why I need another one that's a little dustier like the one you've just found. Can I have it, please? Yeah, sure, why not? I'll take that and keep it with me here in my Dungeoneer's pack. All right, Let's, so... As we were. Back towards town? Okay. Back towards town. 
So we should probably walk, walk the in these footsteps so that no one can track us tracking them. We have this one very large set of feet. I could reduce back down to child size. If it would I, be don't I, I honestly don't think that's necessary. But Just like my feet then. Think. And I use disguise Just self on only my feet so that now I have very small feet and can fit them <laughs> into these and uh, we cannot oh. be tracked. Oh my. <laughs> That is a sight to see. <laughs> Tiny feet. And it, I'm wobbly. A little it's slower like, than usual. Like a yeah. little uncanny, right? It's, yeah, it's, it's like, yeah, like they shouldn't be able to carry the weight. I'm making it, trying to kind of step in the big footsteps per the request of someone much smarter than me and heading back towards the bridge. Okay. So as you head back towards the bridge, following these really large footsteps next to these tiny little child footsteps, uh, Billy, you get this kind of sick feeling in your stomach, like you did something wrong. And that the, this force that is watching you is angry. Oh boy, either the sausages from last night are not sitting well, or we got an angry ghost on our hand. What do we do? Uh, I don't. I don't know. Uh, we're sorry. We're sorry. I don't know we did, we're sorry. But we're sorry. We're sorry. What do you want? What do you want from us? So, so you find yourself on on the edge. I'm going to put you all there. You find yourself on the edge of the, uh, of the bridge, crying out to this, <laughs> to this hidden otherworldly force. What did I do? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And from in front of you, coming through these dilapidated, rotted out little houses, you feel this, oh, this darkness hit you. And it looks like a shadow is coming your way. And the shadow feels like very angry. And it, it glows and it has these deep eyes. And it shifts over to you and kind of Flows in the in the middle of the in the middle of the walkway. Let's roll initiative. <gasps> oh, I'm not good at that. Hey, one better than last time. Nineteen. Nineteen. Eleven. 19. I got a ten. Alright. So um Eric, uh, Billy, you got the highest, right? Yeah. Okay. So as this specter slowly floats in front of you, you get that sick, sick feeling like some, you've done something wrong and you're being judged. What do you want to do? Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cast a magic circle around us um, against, uh, I guess, uh, undead. Uh, hey. or not undead against a uh, spirit. I guess I can, huh? <laughs> what, whatever this thing, what does this thing feel like? We, we have experience in all this. It's a specter. It's this kind of ghostly, just an energy of anger. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. So you cast a. Uh, Fiends, I guess I'll 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 I'll, uh, I'll cast it, and so it's like a ten foot by ten foot sort of a cylinder around around the boys and me, uh, where they can't willingly enter uh, the cylinder by not in magical means. And then if if it tries to use teleportation or interplanar travel, has to succeed on a Christmas saving throw to to enter this. As you do this, this. Spectre seems to grow more red and enraged by what you've done to protect yourself, and all of a sudden, it disappears. You don't know where it went. It disappears. Uh, hey, we we did it. We did it. 
we're getting really good at this, you guys. That was, uh, that was fast. I mean, <laughs> like, that was pretty good. I, uh, I'm going to cast a spell of message to Vimic, uh, who can hear only inside their head. Uh, Vimic, I'm fairly confident that that was not successful and that we are still being watched by that entity, but I don't want to make Billy feel uncomfortable because of, uh, you know, everything. Uh, I, 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 do, do you think we should continue pursuing this or flee? I, I think we should. I mean, we got we got to go deeper into town regardless, so I think we should <laughs> keep going and see if it shows up again. We'll try and deal with it then, but, you know, let, let's let, let's let it see, like, hey, you know, positive thinking. We, we did it. Positive Wait. thinking. Okay, thanks, Dad. Does, does message only go what? Does message go both ways or just? It, 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 I can it, whisper I, I, to him and he can whisper back. Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, it's, it's definitely just whispering, so it's not like <laughs> quiet. <laughs> just, 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 just. I can hear you guys. I I don't think so. No, no, it's a magical whisper. Okay, okay. <laughs> but you, but, 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 no, no, no. I see your lips moving. No, I was just you know just you know mating. Team, team maintenance, uh, checking on stuff. We're good. Let's go forwards. We go forth. We're, I'm really, I, I'm really impressed by that spell you cast. Thanks. <laughs> so I, I'm keeping my eyes out. Was it uh, the specter? Did they look at all like, you know, what, what what did they look like? It was just sort of like an ethereal form, or yeah, it looked like as if someone's shadow had separated from them and taken on its own life force. And it also has the similar kind of glowing, luminescent, bluish green, similar to the butterfly. Mm -hmm. Uh, The shadow, did it have, did it look like it had weapons or? Just looked like a shadow. No weapons that you could see. Huh. So you still have your spell up? How long does that last? Uh, that is uh, just, just uh, oh, it's one hour. Okay. But uh, it, it stays there. It's a, it's right. center of a point with the ground, on okay. the ground. So, so leave it. I'll, I'm going to take a step out of the, the circle and, and test the waters there. And I'll just like yeah. step out of the circle and look around. Everything seems fine. Okay. 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 Let's go. Let's. We're good. Let's walk. Yeah, something, there's something here. I, if my if my my gut tells me anything, this town's important somehow. Oh yeah. I mean, this is clearly Noctine, but uh, the question is, like, did we did we make the spirit angry that we were supposed to be helping? Like. Was it the journals? Should we not have touched the armor? Like, I mean, well, no, that just that didn't. I think this is. A, I, I'm. I'm gonna venture. And this may be. This may be way off base. But I'm guessing the spirit is angry. The spirit that was angry is not the same spirit as the little girl. And the spirit is angry because. We're here. We should leave. We're not. No, we are. We are not. Le- we are not leaving. The we sooner we leave, the sooner we're safe. The sooner we're safe. The sooner we're eating. The sooner we're eating. The sooner we're sleeping. The sooner we're sleeping. The sooner we're dead. Wait, I, that last part. What I'm pretty sure this part? is going to cause our death, you guys. I'm not confident. I'm not confident. This is, this, we've seen a lot of things. We've seen a lot of things, but we have never seen anything like that. I mean, this is no worse than the whole Horace situation. Again, with the Horace thing, I just. Well, when you see Look. somebody turned inside out and then depleted completely into a puddle of ash, a puddle of ash. Yeah, and not well. to mention, not like, I don't want to bring it up again, but remember what happened to that, that you know, that centaur became like, horse with really tiny person on top. And that's just like, that's, that was something I will never forget. That's a, like milli- a millimeter half, tar is what they yeah, call those. Yeah, that's like half horse, half pixie, kind of like the pixie stuck on top of the, it was horrible. 
yeah, like how do your organs even work that way? Yeah, I, I don't, uh, that was not, that is not natural. That was not something that was meant to, anyway. And I'm only the first to admit that that was my bad, you know? I really shouldn't have been experimenting with that wand, but nothing okay. ventured, nothing gained. Okay, All I right. see what you mean. So we that should, is, we should, we'll go, yeah. That is what we wrote on our uniforms. <laughs> kind of like. <laughs> yeah, inside here where I wrote nothing ventured, nothing gained with a quill. Um, well, if so we I, make our way into the center of this town, we might be venturing and we may even gain. Now you're talking. He's, All right. So let's we go. Mark Man. So do you like the order in which you three are here on this map? Yeah. With Billy in the center. Um, okay. So you three just had your very first encounter with the specter, which is as if someone's shadow has been separated from their body, and it was angry. Mm. And Billy, you cast a protective spell around the three of you, and once you did that, this specter disappeared. Okay, so... And uh, correct me, the specter was in front of that large house in the center there, right? Yes, yes. It was in between. Uh, it was in between. It was right in front of the large house. It came through the that little walkway. Okay, so uh, we're going. We're going towards it. Yeah, we're going towards there. You're going towards um, the walkway. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye out for any butterflies on the way. Any any of the blue powder, any butterflies, anything like that. Okay. So, what order do you want to step forward? Who wants to go first? Um, I can, I can, I can take the front. I, the I'm pretty good at spotting stuff. Right, and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll take up the rear. All right. Okay. So as you start to step forward, you're looking around, and you can see these big old wooden buildings are all rotting and starting to fall apart. And then you start to just get this really uneasy feeling behind you. Oh, do you do you guys hear that? Yeah. Yeah. He's hearing those whispers, right? And the moans. Whispers and moans. Hold on, let me check my notes. Yep, it's all the way down the list. The, uh, the innocuous sound, the, uh, the weird vision, the laughing kids, the, uh, you know, like the whispers. Mm, yeah, that's, that's, that's not... Okay, all right. So is there a direction these are coming from, or are they just all around? literally like all around you you feel like you're surrounded it's cacophonous and as you as you look around all of a sudden to your right another one of these specters appears oh. and it crashes into your resistance bubble and you can feel it go and it tries to suck the power from this bubble and it disappears okay so not con, just angry at us. And then it appears again in front of you, crashing against your protection. And <sighs> Billy, you can feel that this is your protection is taking some damage. Because I still haven't, I still haven't like, because it's it's a fixed place, it's it's a fixed point. So I'm gonna, is it still there? Yes, it is. So still I'm there. gonna reverse the effect, and I'm gonna move the thing. I'm gonna cast it again, but around the thing, so it can't leave it. That's clever. All right. It succeeds. Ah! Yeah. So you try and cast and to encase this specter form into your into your bubble of protection, but it sucks, literally sucks the life out of it. And then breathes and becomes almost bigger in size. As you look at the specter, you can kind of tell that 
it has a big nose and big, big cheeks. And that might be wearing some old tunic, but just the ever, ever so like barely can take it to, can tell, but it's seems like it was wearing clothes. And does this specter look at all like what uh, Billy described as the prophet? No. Okay. No. This is this feels like it's been someone's shadow who has, that has been removed from their body. Okay. So. so it still has some of the attributes of a human that, that used to be connected to. But this is an otherworldly, smaller, bluish, glowing creature. All right. Um, I think we may have to... Either we run from this thing or we try and fight it, I think. I don't think we have any other option here. I, 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 I do have an alternative to fighting, as yes? as, as wizards are, are known to have. I could, I could try to induce it into some sort of hypnotic uh, trance. Uh, I, I could project a pattern, if you'll permit me. Uh, by uh, all means. Stand back just a bit. And, and so... Then I reach into my my pocket, deep in my pocket, I have some lint and uh, a bit of wool, and I rub it together in my hand. And as I as I blow it out, uh, it creates on the side of this gigantic crumbling building a pattern of blues and greens and yellows, and they're slowly strobing, and it becomes more and more mesmerizing, so that a creature would have to take a wisdom saving throw, and they would roll against the wisdom, and rolling higher than a 13. Uh, if they do not, they would become uh, I- incapacitated and have a speed of zero, so they'll at least stay still long enough, long enough for us to investigate. 14. And as I'm as I'm looking at this hypnotic pattern, I'm getting a little dizzy by doing it, and it's not having any effect. So I I, I close up this uh, this pile of dust and and put it back into my pocket. I'm sorry I even tried, guys. I'm feeling a little dizzy. This uh, this beautiful pattern that you cast against the building seems to have attracted some new friends. Another specter appears and you are starting to be surrounded. Oh, I always do that. I always uh, I always attract more. Um, all right, so I'm gonna make a quick, I wanna make a quick look around the area and see if I see anywhere, get any clue of where we're supposed to head, like any anywhere that would be um, uh, anywhere that uh, the it's an obvious lead as to where oh, oh come behind us all right uh, looking for any clues or anything that's uh, like any of the dust or anything that would lead us to believe this direction we're supposed to go before I engage with these creatures so as you you look around desperate to try and find a sign of something to do somewhere to go you you feel this as if someone's pulling you from your from your heart chakra up and it leads your your eye towards this temple up the hill um i think we need to go inside that temple at the top of the hill i think we should run that way and i i don't know if they'll follow us but i think that's where we're supposed to go i'm getting a, a gut feeling we're supposed to go up in that temple gotcha so let's just let's go let's run and i just start taking off all right, as you start to take off, you can feel this cold, cold energy shoot through your arm as the specter reaches out and grabs you. No. And as it touches you, you can feel your life force start to drain no. just a little bit as it uses its life drain on you. Can I resist that or? You can resist it. Let's check and see. Or does so, it have to hit me? You are going to... My armor class is 13. It hits. Okay. Um, and you are going to have to make a constitution saving throw. I can do that. You to succeed at 10. 11. Okay. Thank <laughs> goodness. So you resist this draining force that is coming Ugh. from your arm as the specter grabs onto you. And uh, as you 
reach, as you lurch away from it, you feel yourself regain, regain your strength. But fuck, that was terrifying. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to mess with these things. <laughs> so you run forward through the town. Gibbous, what do you do? I run forward, but my feet are still as small as a child's, and I fumble over myself, and as I trip like a schoolboy, I splat my face right on some cobblestones. Oh, and I think I'm bleeding from the nose. I can't, oh, I look us. around, I can't even find where Vimic is, and, and I'm just confused, and I start to cry. Oh, uh, and Billy uh, uh, goes over to, 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 to Gibbs and like and 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 helps him up and is like, "Come on, come on, it's okay. You got you got this." Um, and I'm gonna cast a uh, minor illusion. It's uh, um, like decoys of us run off the other way back, like back towards the mill. Ooh. Okay. So as you go to, to comfort Gibbous and you stand on top of him to protect him and you send off your your uh, your decoys up down uh, up the river, you see the specters follow these decoys up the river trying to suck the life out of it. But it seems you might have floored it. Hey. Good move, Billy. Oh, I can't believe that worked. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, boy. Okay, cool. Wow, wow, wow. Great, cool. All right, make your feet normal. Come on, man. And I'm, I, I, do, I do just as Billy recommends, and I, I make my feet normal. <laughs> normal. You doing okay, Gibbs? You, you, you okay, though? You, you doing okay? I got All a right. boo-boo, but it got better. Don't cry. Okay. <laughs> take out of my pack, like as we, as I like scoop him up, like I like support him and start running with him, um, like propped up because he's like taller, like twice my height, but he's like half my weight. So like I, I support him, but I like pull out of my pack like a little, like a colorful little little bandage, and just Aww. like slap it on his head. And we head up towards the temple. We need to stay together. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Vimic, you make your you make your way to the very base of this long stone staircase, and you feel your friends catching up behind you. And as you get to this, as you get to this staircase, you look over to your left and you see a butterfly. You see one of these blue magical butterflies, and it is floating next to you. And all of a sudden, it seems to get stuck in a spider web and it reaches its arms and it, its wings and it breaks away from the spider web only to get stuck in yet another spider web. And as it's trying, trying desperately to free itself from the web, you see the spider start to slowly crawl up towards the butterfly. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Uh, I'm going to, uh, are they, are they tangible? They, are they look like tangible spiders? Yeah, yeah, this spider is probably about the size of the palm of your hand. Okay, so I'm gonna, I go, I go, oh, no! And I activate, uh, I'm gonna activate Primal Savagery, which is a cantrip that I have where uh, I my fingernails grow very long and I'm just gonna pierce the spider with it and try and take it off the web. Whoa. Okay. Um, do you want to do a dexterity? Yeah, I gotta. I gotta make an attack roll. So I'll go ahead. Okay. Okay. Forty. That's twenty-one to hit. Nice. Okay. So you pierce that spider right through the middle, and it its its legs kind of go like this for a second, and then it stops moving. And the, the butterfly is still stuck in this in this web and is chaotically trying to get out. I'm gonna try and like, I'll do the same thing on the other hand. I'm gonna try and like cut around, like sever the <laughs> around where it would be stuck to kind of free the butterfly without actually touching it. Mm. So you you cut this web very very delicately with your long fingernail, and the butterfly falls to the floor Ooh. and it's trying. 
trying to use its wings, but it's just being engulfed in this sticky web. Okay, I'm gonna use my druid craft, and I'm gonna make a little, um, like a little, tiny little like plant, like little newborn plants are gonna come up underneath it and kind of lift it up and try and like move the webbing off of it, like with their little leaves and stuff, try and kind of clean the butterfly. Okay, well, this is a sight to see. These incredible little plants come up and start to free this butterfly. And the butterfly takes flight again. And as you look at it kind of hovering right in front of you, you get the sense it smells of incense. It smells of, uh, yeah, the thick incense. And behind you, you feel a little tug on your, on your shirt. I look down. And you see in a blue dust, the silhouette of a little girl. Hi. Hi. Where, where do we need to go to help? You shouldn't have touched her things. We shouldn't have touched her things? He's going to find you now. And she disappears. Oh, good. Uh, well, I mean, I guess that's why we're here. Um, he's going to find us now. Okay, so, um, I guess I just wait for them to get to me. <laughs> okay, all right. So your friends arrive. Just uh, give us is being completely propped up by little Billy. Uh, uh, <sighs> Mimic, up next you got this. What do we okay. miss? Okay. All right. Um, there was a butterfly, and then. Uh, it got attacked by a spider. I killed the spider. Uh, but, uh, and I shake the spider off my hand. And, uh, and then, but the butterfly, uh, then there was a little girl of like with the blue outline and she said that we shouldn't have touched her stuff because now he'll come for us. He, oh, the prophet, just, well, I guess he wanted to find us, right? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of my thoughts, but also, and, um, so I think we have to go inside there and I point up the steps. Okay. Past all of those graves yes. and all of those steps into that is that, and, and I'm curious if I can do any sort of um, uh, a history check. Do I recognize any of the symbols on on these graves? Do we know if if it's a um, any kind of temple or church in particular, or do we know anything about the the name of this place? Yeah, um, why don't you do a history check for me? 15. 15, okay. So looking up at this temple, this this temple in front of you, it's made of stone and it is definitely old, but not super, super old. Like it was built in the last hundred years. Um, and it seems to be a temple of protection. Um, that they're protecting the Dusk Mountain somehow. You see a symbol along the top that says protectors of the mountain temple. And these, uh, these tombstones that you see on either side are really decrepit, very, some very, very old, over a thousand years old, and others are much newer. Um, but there is uh, many, 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 many generations that lay in this cemetery. 